G'day, I'm the Night Watchman, here to discuss cricket history and memorabilia. Today's topic is cricket ceramics. To kick off proceedings, we've got the Ashes Urn. This is a fantastic ceramic reproduction of the Ashes. Uh, it's very small, uh, like the real thing, uh, an exact size, and also on it we have the stickers, of course the Ashes name that was written in handwriting and pasted on, and then a piece of text from a poem from a newspaper. Uh, the only other thing to add would be this base. If it wasn't for the base it'd be uh, extremely tiny. So that is a must for English and Australian cricket fans to own. Back in the 80s and 90s there was a fair bit of WG Grace nostalgia and uh, Probably before that, these Staffordshire Toby jugs were made of the great Dr. W.G. Grace. There is the maker's stamp at the bottom. But later on, items like these were, uh, were made and that's obviously um, photographed or whatever the process is with the uh, Coleman's mustard advertisement on that jug. I don't think people uh, use these much anymore but uh, what we have here is cricket themed shaving jugs. Now the one on the right is reasonably generic one. Uh, we've got Australia versus England 1879 with the figure of the cricketer there we don't have any maker for that but these are uh, interesting items here now from memory the Benson and Hedges tobacco company sponsored cricket in the late 70s and throughout the 1980s so I gather that this is a promotional item for Benson and Hedges with the uh, sign being uh, quite prominent in the background. So we have the jug there and then to accompany that what I could probably only describe as a, um, a pin dish and that's in an identical design. Here we have a uh, pair of tankards. This is one that uh, matches the ashtray that was uh, made for the centenary test. That has that design on the ashtray. A little more on the tankard to celebrate centenary of uh, test cricket. And this one, I've only got one of these. This is uh, the uh, Bradford Exchange who uh, did the plates. This is a fantastic tankard. It would uh, probably cost an arm and a leg to get the full set of those. And here we have uh, statistical information of Bradman included on the other side of the tankard. But that's a great piece of work there. In the centre we've got another tankard that's got the 1980s Australian Cricket Board logo on it. And it's got the matching mug on the left. And that's an MCG mug from 1990s. Here we've got a variety of ceramics, probably uh, my favourite of the lot are these, uh, recently acquired, 
These are salt and pepper shakers of an umpire and a batsman. The marks are uh, CC HP. Uh, I think they're uh, they're pretty good. And this one's a, a, a pretty classy uh, cricket mug. It's a Churchill brand, Queen's Fine Bone China, cricket themed. It's got the village green there and the cricket kit on the other side. And coming up, we've probably got things verging on the, the tacky. Little pig with a cricket bat. And these are actually not too bad. Um, the history of cricket mugs and uh, I think I picked these ones up in shopping centres from memory so they're not too bad and a uh, nice little milk jug with the Cadbury's ad on it and finally we have the set of three very popular and very sought after Moritumo mugs. These were made in Japan in 1934 at the height of Bradman's popularity. And here we have the uh, Moritomo wear mark made in Japan. Uh, it's a pretty bang on likeness of the Don, it has to be said. It's got the baggy green cap here. The colour scheme on the Australian coat of arms is a little bit out. But on the handle we have the bat. And the ball in the corner. Of course as we can see there are the two baggy green wearing Bradman's and we've got the small amber one here the bat is also a different color the uh, bat's green compared to the yellow bat of the other two <laughs>